You will be very surprised by this. Next, I will remove a state-made iron transformer. I will directly count the number of windings on the transformer. Then, I will calculate the parameters to compare reality and the formula in the book. I only measured the middle part of the transformer core. Here, the thickness is 5.2. Width is 2.1. So, the cross-section of the transformer will be 5.2 multiplied by 2.1 centimeters. Now, I will apply the formula in the book to calculate. The formula would be N equals K divided by S. The cross-sectional area of the transformer will be 10.9 centimeters. K is the experimental coefficient. For average quality iron core, we usually take K equals 45 to 46. For good cores, we only take 35. After calculating it out, I got 4.3 turns per volt. If the input voltage is 220 volts, then I will multiply it by 220. If the input voltage is 110, then I will multiply it by 110 V. Here I multiply the input voltage by 220. The result is 928. Note here that if the quality of your transformer core is good, you will only get a K index of 35, so the number of winding turns will be much less. Input wire is 0 0.6 to millimeters. Output wire is 0 0.9 millimeters. Hundred twenty nine already. Eight hundred turns of wire already. A total of 860 turns of wire. While the number I calculated was 928, it's a bit short. This leads to overheating and burning of the transformer. This is a battery charging transformer, so the number of turns of wire must be guaranteed. Output is 76 turns.